Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the second swing golf outside today on the driving range at Les Bolstead with Jake Montgomery. Jake is the fitting manager at our Minneapolis store, and we got a fun head to head today, Jake. Mm -hmm. um, so we're kind of going to the top of the bag, uh, especially with Callaway here, the Callaway Apex UW, and then I also have the Paradigm AI Smoke 5 one. So I wanted to do this one because the, a, the, the UW is kind of a, almost has a cult-like following. Yeah. It's very, very powerful, a ton of ball speed, ton of power behind it. Um, but there's a little bit difference in flight, or at least that's what I've seen compared to a traditional five wood. And so that one's at 19 degrees. This is at 18, so a slight difference in loft. But um, I guess you've been fitting golfers um, all year into clubs like this. What have you seen from these two so far? Yeah, 100%. I mean, the biggest two differences differences between these two is the launch and the spin rate. The Apex UW has a center gravity that's a lot more towards the face, which is going to cause right. lower launch, lower spin. If you're a player that swings very down on a traditional fairway wood, this might not be a bad place to go because it's going to help bring that flight down a little bit. If you're a little shallower and you sweep it more, a more traditional fairway wood like that is going to work a bit better. Yeah, and then you know, we talk about center of gravity, right? You can mm -hmm. even just see kind of by the looks of this thing. You know, there's more mass behind the club face, and also it's probably a little bit lower as well. That 100%. brings that ball up in the air. And so and that's why we've seen seven woods and nine woods even become so popular, is just they're a lot better at launching the ball in the sky. So today we wanted to kind of um, bring some numbers to that and see just how much higher and how much um, of a quicker, I guess, launch into the sky that a five wood brings. Um, so do you think there'll be any distance differences here? Or is it primarily just gonna be the kind of trajectory of it? If I had to guess, I would say the Apex UW will probably go a further distance the Callaway will probably carry a further distance. So we're going to see a higher peak height, steeper landing, a more carry, but this one's going to get more total distance on that Ooh, one. Interesting. Interesting uh, hypothesis there from Jake. So he's predicting further total with the Apex UW, but a further carry with the Paradigm AI Smoke. Well, we've got track band today. Yep. So uh, let's find out. Absolutely. Apex UW, um, I imagine it's just, does it look like just most hybrids or is it maybe a tiny bit bigger? It looks like a big hybrid really. Okay. It's an inch longer than a standard hybrid would be. So you get a little bit more club head speed because of that. It is more forgiving because it is that larger yeah. head. It launches a little higher than a traditional fairway because of that size of the head there. Yep. But compared to a fairway wood, it's much smaller, much lower launching, much right, lower spinning. Right. So it kind of, it really is a tweener. It kind of falls right in between there. It's Really, really good for people that tend to swing down on the ball, over spin it, looking for something that's gonna help flight them down more. Or someone that just needs a really, really long hybrid. They don't like a traditional fairway wood. They don't hit it too well. I have a close friend of mine who can't hit a fairway wood, but he really? hits a hybrid an absolute mile. He games this as his three wood and it works perfect. Interesting, okay. All right, yeah, I mean, I've, I've heard similar stories where people could use this as a fairway wood and it plays mm -hmm. very similar, 100%. so. All right, Apex UW, let's do some, hit a few more shots here, huh? All right. overdraw there we do have some wind here as well that's gonna manipulate the ball flight what you see compared to what trackman analyzes mm -hmm. just so you know there so but another one there really efficient 38 26 on the spin there 240.8 on the carry 256.5 is the total right. so another good one there it's hit pretty well maybe a tiny bit tiny tiny bit like fat? Yeah, I caught it a little It heavy. looked like it was a little bit like lower Hands ball closed a little bit. Okay, the spin dropped for sure, but the total is still there at 259.4. Yeah. Oh yeah, another good one. Jake's got the towering draw working yeah. today. <laughs> it is definitely moving to the left. There's a little cutter. There's a big draw. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, these are, so you hit these very efficiently, Jake, which is gonna be fun to look at mm -hmm. here for the numbers. So um, I'll pull it up on the table here. We'll collapse those averages. So in terms of the averages, and I'll have the dispersion here on the left. I know the glare and the sun makes it tough mm -hmm. to see, but there's your dispersion. So pretty tight and consistent distance okay, there, yeah. just slightly left to center there. Um, on the number side, really mm -hmm. good stuff here. So you were hitting it, 1.49 smash on average, so 100 club speed, 150.5 on the ball speed. So mm -hmm. obviously very efficient. 36.64 on the spin. Yeah. So pretty good well, there. 240 that. carry, 257 is the average total. Right. Um, and you kind of mentioned attack angle and stuff, right? So yeah. you were minus one with that club. Okay. 
Uh, so, you know, I, and this, this is kind of that part of the bag where I think most players, ideally, you try to get to kind of close to neutral maybe. Yeah, I mean. Um, I think ideally, right, most players are still hitting down on a club like this. For sure. But I think uh, for maximum performance and distance for a lot of players, they try to, you know, right, you hit up on the ball with driver yep. and then you hit kind of get neutral with your longer clubs. Mm -hmm. And then obviously you're still hitting down with irons. For sure. Um, and then the average height was 100 feet exactly. So yep. I think uh, we have a, a pretty good bar there set mm -hmm. for the Paradigm AI Smoke. Anything else jump out at you with the numbers I, I just told you there? I would say I'm a little surprised by that peak height there. Yeah. I've tried this club in the past indoors and I've never really seen that kind of height out of it. Might just be I'm able to get through the turf a little bit better, launch a little higher, but pretty pleased with those numbers. Yeah, yeah. also too, we are using the range balls. So that mm -hmm. could be a difference in maybe just the, the launch a little, bit, a little sure. bit higher versus maybe the premium ball you're hitting indoor on the mm -hmm. track, man. But um, still something to keep in mind because now we've got the Paradigm AI Smoke 5 wood that might be even higher launching. Yeah. All right, so now Jake, tell me what you mm -hmm. see looking down at the five wood. Obviously it's, to me from here, it looks like a quite a bit of a different shape. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot bigger head, a lot more depth um, from the butt to the face. Yep. It's also much flatter. It rests a lot flatter on the ground. I like a flatter club in this area. It feels like I'm just able to really easily get underneath the golf ball. I've also traditionally played a three wood and a seven wood in my bag. Okay. So I like the look of a fairy wood. I usually don't get the ball up as high as I saw in that apex there. Uh, so this usually helps you get more peak height, more carry distance, right. more control. Okay. See what it has here, huh? Yeah, it's kind of a pull. Okay. Yeah, interesting. It did, it did look like it kind of had more of a spinny flight there, but we'll yeah, see I what the numbers show too. Okay. Yep. That was a 4968 spin. So yeah. I definitely caught the heel on that one. For sure. How about that one? That was a lot better. Maybe it's definitely. Still like that low seems base, like it's a lot higher. Yeah. What was the peak height on that? Peak height there was one sixteen. Yeah. Forty nine eighty on the spin again. So. Gotcha. And again, the, I, I think these are probably higher spin rates than you're used to seeing yeah. indoors with the premium balls. It's For probably sure. golf ball related here, but yeah. you know we're using the same golf balls. Mm -hmm. so. That one might not spin as much. Just a tiny bit like toey, maybe? Yeah, it was a little off the toe. Well, we'll see here. I'm gonna guess lower in ball speed, though. The other thing, too, we're watching an inflated ball flight just because of the wind we're yeah. looking at right here. 4387 on the spin there. That was 116 as well, normalized. Okay. We are seeing a lot. This, the distance is not nearly as far as the Apex no. right now. Granted, the spin is a big reason for that. For sure. There's that high draw again. Yeah. I hit that pretty hard, but it this is a high. this is a really tough wind to hit today. Yeah, to, to hit these shots with today because the wind is pretty firm and it's going like this. Mm -hmm. So any big draw like that is going to be very eccentric. definitely uh, exaggerated. But that one was smoked pretty far, forty three seventy one on the spin. That one did carry two forty three point nine. Yeah. So. What was the ball speed on that? That was one fifty five point nine. Okay. So yeah, that was your fastest swing higher. today, I believe. About that one, that was caught pretty well. As well, it looks like it's right at the target. Yeah, just a just little cut, slightly. I don't think it went very far though. It probably spun a lot. So we'll find out here in a second. Yeah, that did climb to over five thousand on yeah. the spin. So we do have five shots. Yeah. Let's kind of look at these numbers here. I just from those, I know mm -hmm. we got more spin with the paradigm. Yeah, For sure. So higher ball flight. I'll bring up the chart here to kind of confirm those suspicions here. So. Here you can see if you can, I'll let you give a look here mm -hmm. at the chart. I don't know if you can see, you got the white here, and you yeah. got the orange. So it's a little bit shorter. Okay, yeah, for sure. Shorter there for sure. Um, the numbers, you swung the paradigm faster, probably because a little yeah, bit longer, longer shaft, shaft, right? So 103 to 100 on the club spin or club speed, mm -hmm. but the ball speed is relatively similar. You were 150.9 with yeah. the paradigm, 150.5 with the apex. So mm -hmm. hitting that one definitely a little more solid. For sure. Um, so the smash factor was a little bit less efficient. Uh, the distance, so we, the spin was the big difference, yeah. right? 47.72 versus 36.64. Yeah. So just a, a result of how much higher launching that thing is, right? Mm -hmm. And then I think there was maybe one or two you thought were maybe a little low a little face. Low face yeah. So that's probably part of it. But So the carry distance wasn't actually that big a difference, though. 239 to 231. Okay. So despite maybe the major difference in launch mm -hmm. spin, um, we didn't see a huge difference in that carry distance, but the total was 242 to 257. Yeah. 
So that's where Apex really won, and you kind of mentioned that too. That yeah, we just saw a lot lower spin rates in that yeah. Apex UW. That's really what it's designed for, is helping reduce spin in these types of shots. Yeah, and then lastly here, I was going to take a look at the height, 110 to 100. So okay. a lot of the things that you mentioned that you thought were going to happen really did. Mm -hmm. Paradigm AI Smoke was definitely higher launching, more spinning. I thought we might see a little bit more distance yeah. out of the Paradigm, but I think if those spin rates were a little closer together, we would have mm -hmm. seen kind of what you had said come true. Um, so I guess as we sort of wrap here, if we were going to talk about how, who these clubs are designed for, you, you've mentioned it already, but yep. if you're going to be in a fitting and someone's trying to find this type of club, an mm -hmm. 18, 19 degree club, what would you say about these two? Yeah, so I mean, it really depends on what type of peak height we're going for. If you're someone that cuts across the ball, swings very down, has a lot of backspin on their fairway wood shots, that Apex UW is going to be great. Or if you're just generally more down on the golf ball, that Apex UW is going to treat you very well. If you need more help getting the ball up in the air, more peak height overall, the AI Smoke 5 wood or fairway woods in general are yeah. going to help you get that peak height. Yeah, for sure. Well, it's, it's a very important part of the bay to get nailed down because it can be a little bit weird sometimes. You go driver, three wood for most people, and then after that, it's like four iron, five iron. Yep. And there's a lot of distance there to cover. So make sure you got that dialed in in your bag with a fitting with someone like Jake at Second Swing. Schedule that fitting now and check us out for more on the YouTube channel in the future.